Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Art Attack, our March youth program. So this program is really for anybody seven and up uh, to follow along with these mental health focused, positive um, art activities. So this is our second kind of pre-recording short one that anyone can follow along with whenever they feel. Um, it always requires very little materials for this one, just paper and some markers. Um, but just a reminder that March 18th, so next Thursday, we'll be doing a Zoom art attack. So the hope is that if you guys are interested, you'll contact us either through our Facebook page or through our email. Um, let us know you're interested. We'll send you the Zoom link and all that you need to do is send us your home address and we will do some contactless porch deliveries of your art materials. So not exactly sure what's going to be included yet, but so far I have modeling clay and origami stuff, so that should be what we're going to be doing, but might change, but it's going to be lots of fun and just build some community with all of our fantastic youth in the area, open to anybody in the Drumheller, Hannah, Three Hills area and beyond, all the way to Sesford, um, out by Troshu, wherever you are, look at our borders on our Facebook page and we can serve you. So we hope to get lots of people interested in that. But anyways, enough of my gabbing on, time to do our activity today. And our activity is a handful of positivity. So what we're gonna need to do for this activity is you're gonna trace your hand on a piece of paper and then within your hand, you are gonna draw a bunch of pictures or words that make you feel happy and things that make your mood better. So if you're ready, we'll follow along. I'll turn this down a teensy bit. Doesn't really matter, I know you guys know how to trace a hand, but just so we can follow along. So you're just gonna put your hand down. Gonna trace it around. Sometimes it's nice to do these nice, simple art activities. We kind of remember what we did when we were really little. Not Art doesn't always have to be complicated, right? It can be anything that just, through the, through the action of being creative, it just changes your mood. So, wow, that is a terrible hand. Everyone's gonna be way better than mine, but that is a-okay. So I got my hand down there. And then we're just gonna draw things that make us happy. So it really doesn't matter. Maybe you're in a f mood thinking about flowers today with the nice warm weather. So I'm gonna draw some flowers. Guess I'll do. Maybe you do one flower for each member of your family, something like that, doesn't matter. So I do that. As you guys probably know by now, I love coffee. So I'm gonna do a pink coffee cup. There's my coffee cup there. What else? Maybe some steam coming out of it. I love the sun. I only have three colors here, so my sun's gonna be purple. But purple's my favorite color, so. A purple sun is a good sun in my mind. So there's my sun. Maybe just a smiley face. Because I like to be in a good mood. And then maybe ha ha ha. Ha ha. Like we're laughing. LOL. All those fun words. I know. I'm getting old when I think that's funny to say. But that's okay. So, yeah. Anyways, obviously mine. Super, super simple. You guys can make yours way better looking than mine, way more beautiful, because I know you guys are so talented. But that is all that we are gonna do for this one. So I wanna see you guys make your hand, draw the images in it that make you feel happy. And then, when you're done, I want you to ask yourself, how does doing this activity change your mood? When you think of all the things that make you feel better, all the things that you love, enjoy, does drawing them, thinking about them, talking about them, change your mood inside? Do you feel like you went from kind of a meh, average type of mood after school's done and then all of a sudden you think about all the things that you love and then you kind of felt like maybe you were a bit more uplifted, maybe feeling a little more light? Um, just think about it. How did you feel before doing this activity and how did you feel after it was done? So that's one question. Um, and then my other question for you is what was the meaning behind each little image you put in your hand? Maybe there was no meaning. For me, I did a flower for my family members. 
I did a smiley face because I like to be in a good mood, my coffee cup, a sun, and some laughing things because that's just what makes me feel good and happy. Maybe I could have done a book or a journal or anything else. Um, what was the meaning behind your little symbols and all that? So think about it because every time we do art, there's the act of actually doing the art and then there's the 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 art of thinking about the art and how did it make us feel so it's good to kind of put that put that thought in your head that wondering was there some other reason why I drew this was there some other reason I picked purple instead of pink or that kind of stuff so every time you do some art think about how it affects you mentally and then you kind of get to understand all the good aspects that come from doing art activities so thanks for following along guys that was another um, art attack and then next week we're going to be on zoom which is going to be lots of fun i hope to see you guys there have a great thursday